not hard to see why I fell in love with this place. It could be a bear, it could be a mountain lion, it could be a pack of coyotes, although I haven't heard any coyotes in a very long time. After picking up trash at our dreamy campsite that I showed you last week, the dogs and I packed up camp and headed back towards Grand Junction for the night. I was planning to sleep at Love's, which is kind of becoming my Friday night routine, but I had a lot of errands I needed to run, so we went ahead and got those taken care of, so that way the dogs and I could just tuck away for the night and make the most of the weekend to come. tell you everything I've seen the friends I've made and then you tell me how you've been look a little closer it's been quite some time but you gotta let me know if I'm out of line but there's some words that I just want to All right, we have just woken up in the Love's parking lot. Hi, Penny. She's the best shotgun rider. This is becoming my Saturday coffee cup because I'm usually waking up at a Love's and I usually go inside for coffee, but I made my own today. I am gonna go fill up my tank, get some extra diesel to keep in the back of the van, and we have one more errand to run before we explore the rest of Colorado. And I am excited about this one. I've talked about this errand that I'm about to run. I've talked about this in a previous video. And this is long overdue. It's gonna be a long day. Okay, the big reveal. I have been hiking in my first pair of hiking boots for five years, maybe more they're at this point like I could keep going but my biggest issue is that they just smell so bad that's so gross but they stink so I got new boots and I'm so excited say hello to the new kicks oboes they're waterproof I love them and I can't wait to wear them beautiful as opposed to the old faithful Columbias that are borderline falling apart. Inching our way closer to Kentucky, my next stop was Buena Vista, Colorado, which was about a three hour drive. It wasn't long after leaving Grand Junction that we were approaching the mountains. I wish there was a way to truly share how some of these views look. I don't have a very fancy camera, so just trust me when I tell you that videos really don't do it justice. I'm such a sucker for snow-capped mountains and this drive had me smiling from ear to ear. The higher we climbed in elevation, the more the road started to look familiar, and soon I realized I was in the general direction of a place that's very special to me. A place where I fell in love with the road, with drinking my coffee at the base of mountains, and with embracing this dirtbag lifestyle that so many of us nomads have grown to love. A place that, had I not visited two years ago, there's a good chance I may not be living in my van right now. So it felt right to make a pit stop. I talked a lot in my video last week about the first place that I went in Colorado when I started car camping and I'm here. <laughs> um, 
we're not going to stay here tonight just because the road up ahead looks pretty icy and I don't know. I could walk the dogs up there just to kind of check it out, but there's some other people with dogs and I just think we're going to go the other way. Um, I guess this is the perfect opportunity to test out the new boots. So we're going to get suited up. It's very cold here, very cold, and get the dogs some exercise. I also bought new socks. Oh, they're so pretty. I kind of just don't even want to get them dirty. not hard to see why I fell in love with this place. Two years ago, I was scrolling through Instagram and saw a post of someone living van life. It seemed impossible at the time, so I settled for car camping. My brother helped me build a platform to fit in my RAV4, and the dogs and I way overpacked for what would be our first cross-country trip. I'm honestly smiling, thinking about the first time I visited Twin Lakes. I had no idea these spots existed, let alone that you could stay there for free. So we spent a few days here staring at the mountains, going for hikes, splashing in the lakes, and watching the sunsets. Sometimes I miss the simplicity of sleeping in my car, but mostly I'm just so thankful that I did it, because I know that I wouldn't be where I am right now if I hadn't taken that trip. We're not going to go very far. I started to see some tracks in the snow that they're old, but they're melting in a shape that I'm not really sure what they are. They don't look human and they're too big to be dog. So I know the bears are starting to wake up. I doubt there would be a bear in an area this open, but I don't know. Could be something else. Mountain lion or something. I don't know much about them. Better safe than sorry. So I don't know, maybe we'll walk up the road a little ways. Where are After visiting Twin Lakes, we got back on the road and finished what was left of our drive to Buena Vista, which I recently learned is actually pronounced Buena Vista, and that feels weird to say. But then again, I am from Kentucky, and if you're saying Louisville, you're saying it wrong.
it is so bright out here but this is like literally incredible but <laughs> someone left us a little bit of a gift so let me show you one two three and number four is way over there I did some walking around and let's just say the rest of it um, there was nothing left to spare but the rest of it is like way down there and I'm not gonna go show you that because there's nothing left it's it's just bones but um yeah those uh, legs look a little preserved so either that or fairly fresh so I think our last potty break is going to be before it gets dark outside because I don't really want to get out of the van when it's dark I don't know I mean that could be a bear could be a mountain lion could be a pack of coyotes although I haven't heard any coyotes in a very long time but just not really a risk I'm willing to take but that's part of this amazing view it's what comes with it it's cold it is so cold here which was my plan all along right get the heater fixed and go somewhere really cold last night it got down to 11. i don't know what that is celsius off the top of my head let's google it so apparently 11 degrees fahrenheit is equal to negative <clears throat> negative 11.667 celsius so um brr tonight it is supposed to get not as cold i think uh it's supposed to be 22 tonight right now it's <clears throat> 34 feels like 28 and tonight's gonna be 22 so i will be back in kentucky soon my journey east back home for doctor's appointments and a baby in my family um I'm moving. I'm making the moves. Every week we're getting a little bit closer. But I really think I'm probably only going to have two more weeks of fun time. And then I'm just like going to gun it back home. Um, there's not a lot of BLM land. Or I don't know that there's any really east of Denver. And I don't want to fight with finding places to stay. So we'll see how that goes. But I... <laughs> this is so twisted and ridiculous but I wanted to like punish myself and make myself be in the coldest places possible safely because I know I'm going to be miserable the second I get close to Kentucky because it's already what I call hot it's gonna be humid and you're gonna see me get really cranky because I hate Kentucky weather you will literally never see me living somewhere where it's hot again. It's not going to happen. It's just not. So I'm going to be as cold as I possibly can so that it might kind of feel good when I get back home. To soothe the coldness, I'm going to make another soup tonight. But this one is not filled with things that I hate. This is, this one is already Erica approved. Brings goosebumps to my 